Good morning, everyone. This is Cindy, and I am here to share with you another one of my Edith Holden uh, altered file folder journals. Um, I think it turned out real beautiful. Uh, this is the second one. This is June, and... Um, yeah, this is the front, and I added some pretty um, um, ribbon. Um, 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 oh, I can't say what it is. And um, a real pretty bead. And uh, this is sorry silk. <laughs> I got it out finally. Okay, so let's take the ribbon off so you can see the front. Okay, here we go. Um, of course, this is the front, this is the first page in the book that starts with June. And I just added a pretty little um, side panel of some words and a butterfly. And um, yeah, I think the, the um, front's real pretty. Okay, then we're going to open it up. And these two panels, um, I made a real cute little, um, I did a um, stitched little tiny book with um, coffee dyed papers in it for you. And this is the belly band, and I actually used the side binding of the um, dust cover. I'm using everything I can. I don't want anything to go to waste, so I'm putting it all in these journals. Um, I added uh, just a pretty page. I liked it, and I thought maybe you might like to have a page that you can take out and write on or just whatever you'd like to do with it. I love the lavender. And um, then the next thing in this side pocket is um i think that's all in that side pocket so let me tuck these back in it goes right there and then this little book just slides right in there okay then on this panel um i have added some journaling cards and uh, I used the floral up top and then I made this for the pocket and then I had this little bird snippet so I put that on there and then the tags are collaged they're very sturdy chipboard you can write on the back and um, I added some words and um, one of her clusters of flowers in the June section. And then this one is another, you write on the back. And I added, um, this is actually a daffodil um, fixing to open on this one. So um, these tucked down in here. And then, well, if I can get it in there there okay now we're gonna open it up and we're gonna go to these two pages and here we have um, journaling cards or tags um, lots of area to write on and um, I did a double pocket here and I kind of layered up the page so it kind of looks like it's just all one and um, Okay, that's that page. And then over here is the next page. And um, feel free to take screenshots. I don't mind in the least. Um, if you would like to make your own, um, that is fine with me. And um, this measures, each page measures eight by six and it took two file folders and I just laid them into each other 
And um, here's another pretty pocket with butterflies. And this is another stitched book for you to um, journal in. Or if you're a, a gardener, you, it would be great to take notes. And then here's a pretty daffodil and um, here's a dragonfly. So I think that turned out real pretty. Then the next page, we're gonna come over here. And um, this is an envelope that I collaged. I made the envelope out of a page and then I collaged it. And let's see, I didn't put anything in there. That's just for anything you want to put in. And, um, oh, I've already showed you this. I'm sorry. Then we're going to open it up <clears throat> to these pages. And this is where the envelope goes. And um, I left this for you to read. It's just very sweet. She was such an interesting person. Um, and then this middle page right here here has some fun little things tucked in it. Uh, this is um, beautiful. And then I made a little pocket and this is a little beehive on here. And um, here's a piece of a page that I tucked in. I thought that was beautiful. And then this is just a little snippet booklet that I made from side cuts, and you can take notes with that. And then this folds in. Let me put this right here. Okay. This folds in like that. And then this folds in. And then this, wait a minute. This folds, and there you have your beautiful front. And then the back, I added a piece of sheet, uh, vintage sheet music because I just know in my heart that while she was out collecting all these wonderful things, she was humming a tune. And this is part of the dust cover. And then I made these little tags and a journaling card to tuck in here. And like I say, this is the second in the series, and this is June. Um, I'm working on July and April, <laughs> so I'll have those two ready to list. And um, yeah, I just wanted to share with you, and um, I'm doing visual tutorials, voice tutorials on this, and I'm telling you exactly how I did it. Once you get your folder made, you know, you can cut your pages to the size you want, or you can make the folder what you want. And then um, just kind of take some screenshots and see what I did, and let me see what you come up with. Thank you so much, and I want to thank all my followers. I appreciate you so much, and um, I'll be talking to you soon. Hug and love. Bye-bye.